it's a pin combo video combo video right so this is a follow this is obviously a follow up video to the last TNS TNS uh the last video in the, in the TNS review series where I reviewed the Inri Maru I made a point where I said that because there's a five pin system a five pin system used in the device to get melt to get various sounds out of this sing i made a point where saying i couldn't fit them in i couldn't fit any of them in last time so i saved them for this video um and just for a reminder um i have a list of all of the sounds i think i programmed in using all the various pin codes i will be putting the i'll, I'll be linking this same document under the video description when this video goes out as per usual so you'll be able to replicate this yourself if you want I will also give a brief um, reminder of how the pin system works. So if, if we can just turn this on here. So we have some hidden disks here. These are the two disks that came with this item. We have the Super Disk and the Shin Samurai Gatai Disk. So on the backs, oh, careful. On the backs, of these are like these little codes you can see here, like these little blocks. You can see here that there's some hollowed out space in between. Now the parts that are filled in here and here uh, indicate where um, the pins will be pushed down. So in this case, um, it will be pins 1, 4 and 5, I think, if I have a look at the list. Uh, uh, yeah, so this will push down pins 1, 4 and 5. And of course, the code for the Shin Samurai Gatai disc is here, and in this in numbers is is two three five. So that's two three five. So those film those film those empty spaces would resemble um, those empty spaces represent numbers one and one and. So what this means is, all we need to do is we need to push down these pins right here in any order we want. So pins, there's five pins. Um, of course, you do not need to close the device. There's a button here that registers the, the device being closed even when it's open, as I will now demonstrate. In fact, to prove it, just go into insert a hidden, a hidden disk of the arrow facing the bottom, otherwise the, it won't read the code. So it will still read the pins being pushed down even when the device is open. So that's a very convenient thing. Now, how am I going to hack this device? If you've seen my previous uh, Utri Sintai Kiranja Sazer Blaster video with these things in, um, the Kutama, you'll remember that it uses like a little pin system on the bottom, similar to uh, these actually, but there there were six pins. If you remember, I uh, jammed some, uh, I jammed some uh, toothpicks through um, some uh, hollow Lego pieces and I was able to stick them to a base plate with some blue tack and I inserted them onto the actual um, the little um, pins inside of the Sazer Blaster. So that was how that device was hacked. Now this one here is actually luckily much simpler because because these pins are literally just buttons you can access them just by using your fingers like like I'm doing right now. I didn't really, I didn't really need to do much more than actually just take some uh, blue tack or a sticky tack, as Art Attack calls it. I, I made, oh, look, I made this shape, even a shape that's going to be squished in the future. And when, when I mean the future, I mean literally in a, like a couple of seconds, because the um, the first combination we have for, in fact, oh, let's just go through. Hang on, I say let's go through the um. 
actually why do they why do I need to do that? I went through if you want to know the sounds these two discs make plus the sutra disc I got with the sushi changer, please go and watch the previous video because I don't know where the sutra the sushi changer is right now. It's probably in oh, it's over there but it's buried under a lot of other stuff and I don't really I really don't want to have to break my neck to make this video. Right, so the first combination we have is the sound for the shishi disc. So let's take some blue tag off here. And the, the Shishi disc combination is pin number one. Let's stick it under one and hit the button. Shishi disc. Now, if you're curious, um, no, if you, again, if you've seen the previous video, pressing the top button for all of the noises will do exactly the same thing. So they'll all do this. That's all it will do. So I'm not going to show that off again. The next um, sound I can make with blue tack is the Zangeki disc noise and that is done also with pin number two. Let's put some blue tack on pin number two. Hang on, we're also making sure not to put force on the other pins around it. This, this is the difficult bit. Okay, that, that should be enough. Press the button. Zangiki disc. That, uh, the disc that sound belongs to, I think, was the... I think it was the discs that came with the... Um, the hidden disc buckle and also the the the, the hidden disc buckle that belongs to Shink and Gold, um, the 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 buckle that holds discs, right. And the next sound we have is the hidden shield disc, which is from pin number three. So let's put this blue tag over pin number three. There we go. Hidden Shield Disc. Now, this is of course from the disc that comes of Shinkano. Now, because I got my Shinkano second hand, I think I remember bringing that up a, a bit of, a, of a while ago. Um, I don't have that disc. The eBay listing didn't include it. Um, yeah, I know. I'm sure if I it had, I bought it from somewhere like Mandarake or CS Toys, I would have got it, but no, I didn't know any of those places existed at the time, so I just had to buy it on eBay. Um, okay, so next up is the Rue disc, which is pin number four, which will be going on. In fact, let's just do it like this. It hasn't done anything, sorry. Oh no, actually, let's. Let's use this, because, oh, come on now. It's not really being kind to me today, it's, it's, it's not. It really doesn't want me to do this, but whatever. You've also got to put enough force down on it to make sure that it actually does register that it's being pushed down. Because if it doesn't, it won't work. Rear disc, okay, so. Next up is the Curio Disc, which uses pin number five. Now, this is the last single pin combination we have. Let's put it over the... Actually, we, we could probably get away with doing this. Curio Disc. Okay, so now we're entering two pin territory. We have um, pin... One and two, so we've got to take this off here, and we've got to get some more blue tack from the blob here, and stick it on to pins one and two, which we will do right now. Here we go. I'll make sure enough force is being exerted onto it. That hasn't done this thing. Sorry. Push down. That's better. Kuma disc. And the next combination we have is two and three, which is for the Ebi disc. 
which I will insert onto the pins now. So pin number two and pin number three. Now, um, Ebby. Now, I want you to note that the Ebby, that noise you just heard belongs to the Ebby disc, which comes with the, um, it comes with the Ebby Origami, or uh, Daikaio, it's technically Daikaio, because it's treated as Daikaio, because it's Megazord. Um, interestingly, if you, re if you uh, have seen, uh, at least, if you've seen at least Power Rangers Samurai, you will know that the, um, Lobster, the Ebby disc, is actually dual. Is actually double sided. Um, the other side is used for Daikaio's faces. Um, as, far, as far as I know, there's no sound for that, unless I'm wrong. Doesn't look like it. So there's no. Oh no, hang on. There is a noise for Daikaio. Well, ne never mind then. Forget all that. Scratch that. Okay. So the next sound we have is pins two, three, five. For pins two, three, five. Let's pop the blue tack on. Pin number two. What, what will that register as two? I don't know. Two, three. Let's get some more pin blue tack from there. And then five on here. Let's get it on, stick it on. There we go. We need to push the button to hear the sound. That's not what I was going for. Oh no, hang on, it is. Oh, dearing me. Ugh. Again, if you've seen the previous video, this is the sound that this disc makes. There's an extra sound that comes after the phrase, which... Yeah, it implies that this disc is a, little, is a little bit special, and yeah, that's what this whole item was introduced for. It's a bit of a spoiler for Shinkinja there, but it's also kind of a spoiler for Power Rangers Samurai, if you want to see that too. Um, right, oh, uh, that just kind of fell off there. Um, okay, so the next one we have is oh, a bit of a special one. This next code is 1-4. Let's stick... The blue tack on to the corresponding correspondence. I don't know why I said that. I'm speaking rubbish. Um, uh, I haven't touched this blob yet. I will have to do that in the future. I'll do it for the next one. Hang on. One, four. There we go. Let's push the button and see. Shinken and Shibai Takiru, which is this roll call, which is Shinken Red's roll call. That was actually done in uh, Shiba Takiru's voice. <laughs> and not the standard um, Inrimaru voice, which is interesting. Um, which kind of makes it like the Dino Supercharged Morpher, because if I, if I remember... Some of the sounds that were programmed into that could be heard in Tyler's voice, which is the which is Red Dino Charge Ranger, and not the standard Morpher voice. So it's it's kind of like that actually. Um, okay, now we've got um, two five pins number two and five. So let's put them on there. Oh, I said said, said I'd be using this. Oh god, oh dear. Two five. Now this one again is interesting because it comes out with this noise. Which was in a bit of a, a weird voice. Um it uh, admittedly it took me a while to figure out what to figure out what it was. Until I remembered that oh it, oh, it was the um Origami Beast disc. The Ushi Origami, which is the bull. So I remembered that. Um, it just kind of confused me because it, it, it was in a different voice. And I thought it was saying you and not Drew, because Drew means beast. Uh, okay, then we've got a combination for three and five. And to do that, we're going to do this. Here's a little shape I made. It's like a little... I don't know what it is. It's like, it's like a stone. 
squish. I'm going to use, oh god, it's actually quite firm. I haven't touched this in ages. Oh, might have to soften it up a bit before I take off stuff. Otherwise, otherwise it might be a bit more difficult to do that. This is the problem when doing stuff with blue tack and like similar kind of stuff, right? Here we go, take off a bit. Yeah, apologies for my comedic voice uh, there. Uh, uh, right, I could probably get a couple more bits out there. Right, so um, this one is going to be three and five. Let's put these on the corresponding pins. There we go. And this one on five. I'd say we're, we're about halfway through this list, or nearly halfway at least. Hmm. Right, here we go. Daikaiyo! That's Daikaiyo, I think. In Daiko's respective... Is this light going? No, it's not. I think it's still fine. That's Daikaiyo's um, disc. In Daikaiyo's um, respective um, Megazord voice, I think. Because Daiko's got lights and sounds. I don't really, I think Daikaio, I think, translates to, I think, God of the Sea, or um, Ocean God, or something, I don't know. Um, and then we've got numbers, number 134. Let's attach these, so one, three, and four, on you go. Well, he could show. Hopefully, this works. Oh no, I'm crashed against the wall. Saru disc. Saru disc. Um, you know, Rosa, annoyingly, I think, if I remember, they made um, the record, they made uh, Shinken Red, Shinken Blue, and Shinken Green's um, like primary rep, we like per personal weapons. So they made the record Dizon Tor, Water Arrow, Wood Spear. They never made the Landslice or Sky Fan for some reason. Um, that's actually, that's, that's, um, I know I didn't really cast, I, I never, never got those weapons, but that's really annoying for me because it feels like they left those ones out because just because they belong to female rangers. Ugh. That's something Blind Eye of America would do. Ugh. I'm not a fan of that at all. Um, I've got uh, 124, uh, which is not a plain 124 reference. It's actually the code for the Kame disc. So, 1, 2, Four. Here we go. Push the button. Kame disc. Kame disc. Okay. And next up is the code one two three, which is um okay. So code one two three. One. Three. I knew this blue tack would come in handy one day. Lol. <sighs> Push the button. Kotsu disc. disc. Apparently that means the common disc. Which came with the also came with the um record Dizantor. Which is confusing because I thought it'd come with the um the Shinken Maru. Because the record dying is Shinken Red's weapon, so they put Shinken Red's uh, Shishi -shi disc with the um, with the uh, Shinken Maru, the the sword. That's uh, a bit confusing to me actually, because I mean you'd think they'd put uh, Red's disc with his corresponding weapon, because um, that's what it's used on, isn't it? Um, so uh, that's confused me a bit. Okay, so then we've got code one. We've got code two three four five, which is every pin except for one. Hopefully this will work. No, it hasn't. There we go, samurai disc. I don't know what that one is. Sorry, um, I forgot. Um, now we've got code two four. Let's put the 
Play tag on there too. Four. Kabuto Disku. Admittedly, um, that one took me a bit more of a time to find because when I was looking for codes for, the, for this video, I remembered that the um, the discs that come with the Megazords don't have this code um, kind of pattern. They instead have like these little uh, rods that stick out and hit pins, and it took me a while to figure out that, what that was. So that's uh, another level of confusing me. So uh, well done for that, uh, Shinkenja. Okay, then we've got codes three and four. One, two. Three, four. Kajiki disc. Then we've got code one, two, three, four. Let's do that quickly. One, two. Yes, yes, three, four. Put the blue tack on there. Nice, nice, nice. Ika disc. This is instead of having to spend cash on all the other discs, don't forget, so I'm kind of saving money here. Da -dum this is how a Tuku fan saves money, by the way. Apparently. Just ask Akiba Red. Oh, wait, he's not real. <laughs> Nobu Akagi. Or Nore Decado. Hmm, hang on, that's a um, common writer, not even Super Sentai. <laughs> Ironically, I think Common Rider Decade came out at the same time as um this. It it was on it was on TV at the same time. So uh, hmm. um, uh, and then we've got um code one two four five. One two four. I hope this works. Oh, this code only misses out number three. Oh, that doesn't work because there's not enough force being put down five. was the longest sounding programmed into this thing I think that's because that is the biggest that's the final Megazord combination the Samurai Gigazord I think it is um also from Shinkenja uh, Zen means all by the way I think um and uh, also, if some of those sounds just played sounded familiar to you, that's because the lion, dragon, bear, ape, monkey, sorry, not ape, and the uh, turtle sounds were lifted from the Shodo phone, which I've previously re re reviewed on this channel, although it was a while back. So, uh... Oh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> then we've got uh, code 125. Which is here. Samurai no Kokoro. Samurai no Kokoro. I don't know what that is. Um, I could translate it using Chat GPT, but um, that would probably. Um, am I actually. Am I, hang on. Let's just quickly write it down on here quickly because there's enough space. Samurai no ko ko ro question mark. Have that translated into chat GPT later and uh, I know you can't see it but it'll be amazing if I can uh, figure out that what that says because um I can't even read my own handwriting half the time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, then we've got code one three four five which is going to be here if the camera will turn back on. There we go. 
One, three, four, five. One, two, three. I hope this works. Saishu Orgi Disku. Now, admittedly, it took me a while, but uh, that turns out to be the final mysterious disc, you know, the, the disc that comes with the Mogu Bazooka. Or the Bullzooka, it comes with the, the uh, Bullzooka too, um, in, the, in the Samurai toy line for, from America. And then we've got the the Super Disc Noi, the, the Super Disc Code. This code is just just for everyone on the on listening. This code is one four five, which is also going to be listed in the list below. And then we've got um, code two four five. Two four five, and it's this. I don't know what that is. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I can't even try to translate it into ChatGPT. It might be the um, the tornado disc that was sold, I think, in um, Candy Toys. I think it was or Gashapon. I think it was one of those two. Might it might be that one, but I don't know. Hmm. Or the spirit disc, I don't know, because a few discs were sold in um, candy toys, I think, and not all of them have um, sounds programmed into this thing, but I don't know which one that belongs to. So moving on, we have the code 1 and 3. Now this one, I definitely know what it is, because I, um, I, I checked beforehand. It's not going on, why is it not going on? There we go. That is a Raigeki disc, which is um Thunder disc, which was um used in Shinkinger about one time. Raigeki disc was used in Shinkinger one time, but uh, was later forgotten about. Sorry about that. Also, I'm completely aware this is meant to be a sticker, and I don't know how to take it off. So, uh, sorry about that, lad. Because I know there's like a green arrow underneath. It's like a little embossed arrow. You can tell because it's like kind of, you can kind of tell the outline if you're holding it right there. Uh, but I don't know. If it comes off, it's no big deal. It's meant to come off, I think. But I literally don't know how to take it off. Um... I might make a Reddit post on that actually if I uh, get round to uh, that on the uh, Super Sentai uh, subreddit. Although I don't really know if they'll know or not. Because don't forget, this is this item is from 2009. Okay, now we've got c code 15. Itchy Go. I'm not saying number one, I'm saying 15 in Japanese. Ooh, I'm showing off now. Uh, <laughs> that's meant to be um Genta's voice, it's not sounding like Genta at the moment. Uh, and then we've got code Okay, this code is one, two, three, four, five. And to show it off, I can literally put on this disc upside down, because when it's upside down, it will hit all the pins. Huh? Oh, I think I might know, what, might know what's been happening here. Hang on. I think I know what's going on. Uh, 
There we go, Tora disc. I pulled a bit of the sticker up and I think it might be interfering with um, pin number four there. It doesn't look like it's gone on the wonk at all. It just looks like just looks like the stick is interfering with it. At least I can try and see. Hang on. No failure because I wasn't pushing it down enough. And then the code two three four is for sushi dish. We've only got two more sounds to go. Code four five is is this. Sogoida hidden disc, which means an awesome hidden disc, I think. Which is um, kind of a way of skipping around some of the discs you haven't made sounds for. Because <laughs> this, um, this thing can only hold um, a certain amount of sound, which is fair. That, that's fair. Okay, give them a break, okay. Then we've got code. The last one is 135. Let's put the little pins on. That one. Five and that's this noise. Sogoi powder, which means I think an awesome power. But again, I'm not sure. Um, so that's that's okay. Um, not gonna lie. So again, they can use these other phrases to uh, skip around the sounds that they have, the discs that they haven't made sounds for, at least properly. So that was the video for the Inner Maru with all of the sounds programmed into it, all, all the sounds that I'm aware of at least. Um, I think that's every possible combination for the numbers with. Um, that chat GPT could find because I asked chat GPT for these combinations and it just came out with all these ones I just showed you. I mean, yeah, that's all the sounds I'm, I'm aware of, that's all the sounds programmed into this thing, I think. Um, and now we've got some important news. We have, well, not have, but we've actually, because the, the day is currently, again, I'm having to do a bit, bit of time traveling within the schedule now. And when you're seeing this video, um, which will be January 20, 2025, you would have already seen this, okay? Um, but um, there's going to be a load of normal videos on the channel. There's going to be um, the next TNS video will be for Kira Mazin, okay? It's kind of amazing because uh, because today we actually I think it was yesterday actually yesterday which I think was August the October the fourth I think it was we actually ordered kind of amazing all right uh, Mashin Zabian and uh, breaking news we've actually pre-ordered the because uh, that there's a brand new uh, boom boom car for a uh, backer I guess in type boom boom jet it's called a Boom Boom Safari Wild White version, and we pre-ordered that. It's coming out on uh, October the twelfth. Although it'll be, it'll be getting here a couple of days after, so it's not going to be getting here on, on the day it releases. Because it's got, it's got to get from uh, Japan to here, basically from Japan to the UK. So it's not going to be easy. Okay, so. Um, The end, I guess. In your goodbye.